Hi, this is Ray from Better Tattooing. Today we're going to be covering what it means to be heavy-handed when you're a tattooer. All right. Okay, now that's over with. Heavy-handedness. This is something you'll hear a lot if you're uh, an artist or if you're a client, you know. People like to gauge the experience uh, of the tattoo, not only based on like how the interaction is one, if they felt comfortable, if they felt heard, if they've got the artwork that they want, but also how the tattoo just felt, right? So this application, <laughs> this, this descriptor being applied to people uh, usually means like the tattoo hurt, right? So why would somebody be heavy handed? Are you a heavy handed tattooer? We can find out pretty quickly, right? Um, and this doesn't mean that being heavy handed will result in a tattoo that isn't totally rad because like when I started, the, the goal was to, to get it in, get it started and, and finished, you know, like as fast as possible, as clean as saturation you could get. And people were vicious. <laughs> I had a dude that I worked with. If this is our power box, right? <laughs> we got our little clip cord and foot switch coming out here. Here's our dial, right? And it would be like, <laughs> you have your yellow, your green, and then there's like this like red bit that's up here, right? <laughs> This is like the optimal side that we want to see things, right? With our with our voltmeters spinning around. Burp, 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 burp. Right? This dude would have his shit buried sideways. The machine would be shaking, you know, like the power supply would get red hot. It was gnarly. Um, he'd run it at 13 volts, you know, close contact. There'd be sparks coming off of the back of the machine. Just gnarly. But all of his tattoos healed out great. And everyone had said, dude was heavy handed. Yeah, because he was, right? It, his hand was basically made of lead. He would move super quick through things, but they would never need a touch up. And they didn't come back as scarred. And it always made me wonder why, right? <coughs> Which we'll be able to get into a video about that another time. But that's realistically what it is. Like if you're heavy handed, what you're doing is more often than not, you're moving quickly, right? You're not really giving a damn about the person who's getting tattooed's comfort level because you're doing a job. Um, you may have them sit in very uncomfortable positions. You stretch really, really hard, right? And you just go. So more often than not, we'll see heavy handed artists who are using coil machines. Now, the noise, I think, amplifies that idea about applying that label of heavy handed to someone. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. <coughs> I've had sneezes like you wouldn't believe. Anyways. Um, so yeah, like that's, you won't see it so much with the rotaries nowadays. And I think it's because the quietness of the machine, right, s tends to lend itself a bit more of like a calming or soothing effect for people, which is funny because more often than not with coil machines, I see less trauma in the skin than I do with people who are using rotaries, <coughs> which we can get into trauma effective by, you know, different types of machines later. And I think we may actually have one video on why that actually can happen. So you can go back and check. I'd never post this stuff. It's like my job is the video side of doing all this. There's people who do articles and stuff, but I never post the little links in the descriptions. You just gotta go search and sorry, I'm lazy. Uh, <coughs> man, I'm coughing a lot. Anyway, so that's what it means to be heavy handed, right? If you go to a place, your tattoo comes out and it heals great, awesome. Maybe it may have been heavy handed and it may not have felt the best, but if your work is clean, that's awesome. If they're heavy handed and the thing came out scarred, well, then we've got to start making some notes. <laughs> You're going to have to go to somebody else to try and get it fixed, which we can do. We can repair some uh, damaged tissue. Um, if somebody's been a little bit too heavy handed with it, then not. Simple for your client. That makes sense, hopefully, right on. This is Ryan from Better Tattoo and signing off.